Eh, Okej, okay, vi är tillbaka. Prata med han här som tog hand om oss först. Hej, Gobbe. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo, and talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I'd prepare for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead, he won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Take care now. Hey. Jag bara så att ni vet, alla mjölnare i det här spelet tjuvar. Vill du sälja något olagligt, något stulet, så är det till dem du ska sälja till. Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Henry, I'm so glad to see you. What are you up to? The start up, Hannah. Um, I don't know. Come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time. Oh, yeah, another go. Ja, vi kan väl lika bra vara och gräva upp den här kroppen och få lite pengar.
Ja, vi kör en, sp kör en spar här då. Nej, jag ska prata med dig bara. Miller Pleshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. But I never bought any flour from him. I've got a feeling you're trying to fool me, and all you want is to snoop around here. Clear off. No, oh, fuck you. Now we land there. Om vi går och gräver upp det med en gång bara så ser vi om det blir någonting. Jag glömde spaden. Ja, vi går efter den då. Ja, okej okay, då är vi tillbaka. Nej, vet ni vad jag hittar inte den jävla spaden och jag orkar inte leta efter den. Vi går in till stan bara. Halt. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Thwaites. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right then, go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Bandits attacked me in Scalitz. And why, for God's sake, did you go back there? Who else but cutthroats and banders did you expect to find? I needed to bury my parents. Oh, I see. Your father fought like a lion. I'm sorry. He saved my life. And not just yours. He was a good man, and you did right to bury him. I didn't even manage that. I failed to save him or put him to rest. And just what could you have done at Scalitz? If you tried to fight, the both of you would be dead. He gave his life for yours, Hal. So you'd better make good use of it. You're right. And just what are you doing here? I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um... He asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm gonna find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Jag får gå förbi här. Den är nog för mig. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> 
Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Panosh. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> what concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, well, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <coughs> the miller's daughter? Saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. Mm, they almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad. I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. 
you would have run as well. Believe me. Henry's earned some punishment. How do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Oh. He's a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Captain Bernard's not here. I should stop by during the day. Vad fan är klockan nu då? Ja, ah, det är kväll. sleep here. Go and find a bed of your own. Out! <sighs> Seriously. What do you think this is? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm going to go I'll be with you. I'm here for training. Yes, hear that boy Sir Radzik said. I'm not a boy. That's for me to decide. Right now, boy is exactly what you seem. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simpler. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine. We'll try something more advanced then. Good luck to you. Very well then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. I'm going to sleep. And don't hold back. Ah. Ah, yeah, clear. Okay. Yo! Rah! Good strike. Try something more advanced. Uh, uh, right, lesson two. Uh, Not bad. Captain Bernard. 
Wait a while, Henry. Your greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Well, not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside. Ha. Well, now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe it will make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Don't leave yet. Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. Let's see that. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. Missed it. And then release the string. Oh, fuck you. No jerky movement. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one. And then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Where are you shooting, you dolt? Fuck you. That's it then. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Eller kanske? Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand, 
ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Träningen med Bar Träningen med Bernard hjälpte fan verkligen. Aj, okej, okay, jag ska inte bli för kaxig. Blacksmith? You must be having an off day. Are you alright, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. I hope he has. Watch it, boy. A few of my men have won fights against him before and never had a problem. But you could be the first. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Yeah, but I just want to train, yeah. Can I ask? Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Yeah, we go. We are as vain as that. God be with you. Any work for me here, by any chance? That depends. How's your hearing? What? I said, how's your hearing? It's perfectly fine. You don't have to scream at me. I mean, why are you asking? Because there is this one little job going, but I need someone who knows the area well and has good ears. I ought to be able to handle that. Fine. So here's the problem. My friend is a bird, and he left a few rare nightingales with me for safety. Oh, I only got two that up there. Rich gentlemen hang them caged up in their chambers. It keeps their wives from fretting when they're off drinking and wenching. I see. The trouble is, the nightingales are gone. I don't know how, but the birds have flown. Hang on, surely you're not asking me to go flapping around looking for birds? Not exactly. Luckily, their wings are clipped, so they won't be far, and the watchman in the tower told me they headed off toward Brant. I have traps prepared. It should be easy enough to catch them in those. Fine, but how will I know where to put the traps? I hear they like pine woods. And there's a pine-covered hill just before Brandy. Right. Bloody great wood. That's just why you need to listen out. Nightingales have a distinctive song. When you hear it close by, you set a trap on the spot. They kept puttering away the whole time they were here, so I can remember the tunes. I'll sing them to you. I can't wait. It went something like this. <coughs> what? People keep birds like that in their houses? It's like the sound a cat makes when you pull it by the tail. You know how it is. The gentry's got all manner of odd tastes. The question is, can you remember it? Yes, I remember. Right, here are the traps. Don't forget, once you hear a nightingale, set a trap nearby. You ought to be caught in it after a while. I'll do that.
Men det kommer bli en bra bit att gå. Ja, man kan inte simma i det här spelet sen. Det här kan vi ju gå över i alla fall. Jag måste vara här. Blir det utmarkerat? Ja, vad bra. Då håller vi koll på vart de är. Vad är du, snäll? Nej, yxan, yxan. Stop whining and fight! You beast! Ja, jag vill ha dina grejer. Nej men snälla inte härifrån. Nej, hitta spaden i alla fall. Okej, okay, jag måste klättra ner här. Jag har en bynbon ramlar ner och då. Samma skit igen. Ja just det, vem som helst får inte jaga sen heller. Det räknas som stöld. Vad är du gör här? Part of life, är du? Hej, vi fick något. God be with you. So, I prowled around for a while, and I have something for you. Wonderful! How many did you get? All three. So that's all of them? Excellent! Let's hope the burden never hears about my little mistake. Let's hope not. 
Thank you, lad. Here's something for your efforts. Ska vi se om jag kanske kan koppa loss lite då. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. I'm feeling as good as new. Well, I'm glad to hear it. About that debt. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honor. Is there anything else I can do for you? Ja just det, man kan ju inte läsa i det här spelet heller. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ushitz. He could teach you. Ja, det blev inte så jäkla mycket shoppande för det jag ville köpa kostade liksom flera hundra. Och jag har typ hundra bara. Ja, ja, okej. Okay. Men jag, jag tror faktiskt att vi går på lite... Börjar bli kväll. Vi ska ju faktiskt kunna gå och skäl den här ringen. on the left hand the right oh shit there's nothing there either where the fuck is that ring <coughs> oh a stench makes me want to puke Peshek will pay for this hey I've got the money to pay that debt and I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head Hand it over. That job's still going, if you're interested. Sure, I'm on it. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the debt. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity. Like popping a young maiden's cherry. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to try that yet. Fucking hell. How did I get landed with a cretin like you? I'll have to teach you then. Come with me. Take care now. Try unlocking this trunk. Hold the lock pick with the right hand and use it to feel out the tumble. In the left hand, you hold it. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. Remember, this trunk's only for practice. Real life. Yeah, we train a little bit. Hey, hey. 
Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue, how much is it? Half a sack. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Thing if a hoon fall. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. How the book got say? God be with you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the miller in Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. I mean the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. You'll buy stolen goods from me. Oh, thanks for your trust. I'm sure that'll come in useful. Take care. So that I thought that we could go to a court event here, Harna. Så syns vi nästa gång.